Hello? 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 I think it's good. I don't know. Whoever comes in first will let me know if the mic is working. <clears throat> I guess we'll know in a minute. I'm getting ready for bed, but you're live, so fuck it. Working great. Cool. You can hear me, I'm guessing. Good. Wonderful. Yeah, I have a... I told you I have the external mic, so sometimes it's a dead. But I can't touch it. If I touch it like I just did, I'm sure you heard static. Like, if I touch it or move it in any way, it's just... It's horrible. What's going on, brother? How's work going? Here's Rocco. Rocco, don't miss your coffee porn, bro. Here's your coffee porn for the day. You're going to have to rewind. I almost spilt it on my monitor. That would have sucked. <clears throat> How's work going? What's up, Billy? What's going on, brother? How's fishing? have to get up and get a water. I'll have to finish with my water. Work is good, but getting sick at the same time, so I'm tired as hell. What do you mean? Are you getting like you getting sick? Like get a cold or something? That sucks. Suck no water movement, 30 pounds. Didn't even bother to go today. Do better. Oh, okay. So you only had you only got 30 pounds yesterday? Wow. No water movement, 30 pounds. Didn't even bother to go. Wow. That sucks, man. Sorry to hear that, bro. I know you were uh, you had big hopes. Uh, uh. So yeah, we'll go through it. You know the usual usual suspects we call them, right? We got our coffee porn for Rocco. I don't know where he is, but he can go back in the chat and he can go back in the live and watch it when he comes in if he wants. Eh, so so cup of joe today. Be honest with you, I don't, I don't have the creamer that I like. What's up, Mary? Rocco, you missed it. Unless you saw it, I'll bring it back one more time for you, Rocco, because you got here. It's not even, it's not even pumping as, as much as it was yesterday. But here's your, there's your steamy coffee porn for the day. Get it in. <laughs> oh, we love you, Rocco. And then I have my uh, Ensure Plus, which I'm not liking either. So, I'm not really enjoying my drinks this morning, but that is what it is. Anticlimactic? I'm sorry. It was super hot before. I mean, it's still hot now, but it's just not uh not as. It's still it's nah, it's not the same now. You missed yesterday's was better. Yesterday's was way better. You should have saw it yesterday. The whole screen was my 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 friggin' lens was uh, on my webcam was fogging up. <clears throat> It is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you, Billy. It's, it happens to you. Maybe tomorrow will be better. <clears throat> What's going on, Mary? How are you this morning? Good morning. <clears throat> I saw um, Flowbeck was live. Katie was over there, I think. I don't know who else. I just saw Katie on the panel. I'm not going till next week. Don't want to go shrimp on Friday and Saturday. I'm going to sit right here and recuperate. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Sounds like a plan, bro. <clears throat> recuperate. There you go. Get some rest. Power up. Get ready for shrimping. And then you go fishing again. Thursday. Got to have my... Oh, oh, it's Thursday? Okay. I, I forgot what date you said. Did you know I can't remember shit, so but I do pray for everybody every night. I prayed for you last night in particular, Billy. Because I knew you were going to have an MRI. I forgot just now, but I didn't forget last night. 
crazy. When I pray, I don't forget anybody's name. It's crazy. <clears throat> Just came back from the post office. How about you? Yeah. I don't know. I woke up about an hour or so ago. I actually am pissed off because I, I set my alarm and I slept right through it. I wanted to I wanted to call the disability and everything at eight. I wanted to be the first one to call at eight thirty and I missed it. I'm pissed. So tomorrow morning I'm setting like three alarms back to back to back. Like for seven thirty, quarter to eight and eight o'clock. So and fucking loud. I'm gonna pick the loudest one because the problem was I was up at like six and I fell back to sleep. And it was all over after that. And then I didn't wake up until nine something. I'm not happy about it. That's why you could tell I'm not in a pretty pissed off mood because I wanted to get this done today. I mean, in one day, okay, we'll get it. We'll get it done tomorrow. But brother outdoors, the package is already in Jersey City. Nice. It'll probably be there today or tomorrow. Then, if it's stuck in Jersey City right now, it might not get to my parents' house today, as they usually get their mail around now. So it'll probably get to the where I live, well, or my town. It'll get to that town, and then it'll probably be in tomorrow's mail. So even better. It's even more more better. Then I won't be able to open it. Hey, everybody. Good morning, Miss Cindy. Skip Jack Cindy. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. Sorry I didn't catch any carp last night, but it was a fun live. And we got to get we got we got a double feature last night. We had Cindy on one side, and then we had Travis on the other side. One was carping, one was catfishing. Pretty cool. It was pretty fun. I'm feeling stone tired this morning. I'm sorry, brother. Maybe you need to go back to sleep for a little bit. I feel the same way, though. I, my dad texted me. He's like, how are you feeling today? I said, eh, so-so, pup. I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I can't even tell yet. I can't tell yet. <clears throat> I don't feel great. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere today. I was supposed to go uh, shopping. I was going to go fishing. It's supposed to be beautiful. The way I feel this very moment, I don't think I'm going anywhere. But that could change. That could change in an hour. So. Good morning, Miss Tina. How are you? Thank you for being a channel member. One of my channel members. Good morning, all and son. Hello, pup. How you doing, father? Cindy fishes more than some of the commercial fishermen from the fish house. Yeah, I guarantee it. You're right. I wasn't expecting it either because I was just I was skipping around on something. I don't know what I was watching. I think I was watching the Scratch Shack. Um, his uh, his video he puts up every day for the Slow Boy group. I got done with that, and then I hit like on on my laptop anyway. You hit like just a. Uh, but it says YouTube, and it'll just go like to the main page, and it'll show a bunch of people, you know, that are either live or videos or whatever. And I saw it said um, Skip Jackson, the Outdoor Adventures Live. I was like, what? I'm like, you know, she didn't even give me a heads up. And uh, I went there, and it was just her. It was still light out. And she was, uh, she had a couple of little couple to the left there. They were doing their thing, catching some turtles and bluegills and stuff. And she was chilling, trying to go for some carp. And um, we hung out there for a minute. And then Travis uh, popped up on the uh, stream yard there, and he was going fishing where he's at. <clears throat> so it was kind of cool. We had a double feature. I'm going to keep trying on the carp. Keep trying, yeah. Listen, carp are fun to catch. They really are. If Once you find them, once you find them, you'll be good. You'll, you'll be catching them. <clears throat> Try to get, get some tips from um, from NJ, man. He, know, he knows his shit about carp, too. Man, not feel, I'm not feeling great, Dad. I'll be honest with you. I'm not feeling great today. I don't know why. I, I'm I'm pissed off too. That's why because I wanted to get up and call um the Department of Justice at eight thirty exactly at eight thirty, and I fucking overslept. I'm I'm not happy about that, but it's okay. Good thing about life is we get to do it again tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I'm going to set an alarm like three or four of them in a row, loud, and I'm going to keep it right next to my bed. So. I think the problem was I had the volume off of my phone because I always keep volume off of everything. You know that, that my dad knows that more than anyone. I always I don't keep ring around or nothing, but I usually keep the one that's set for like alarms and whatever you know whatever that one is. I don't I forget what it's called. And um, but I think I had it off. Skip check. Cindy said good morning, pop. Well, she said good morning, dad. Angel Scratcho. Okay, much love and respect for everybody. Much love, brother outdoors. It's uglier sleep time. I hear you, brother. Get some sleep. Good luck at work tonight. I hope you feel a little bit better. Get some rest. And um, I let Pop know. Pop, Angel said the package is in Jersey City right now. So it might get to you today, but most likely tomorrow, I'm guessing. So probably tomorrow. We got a Flowback raid coming in. Thank you. What's up, Ticket Love Scratch? Miss Katie, good morning. How are you? Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. 
<clears throat> Hope you're doing well today. I'm a uh, Menza Menza, you know. Zigzag. Good morning, Zigzag. How you doing? She said, "Good morning, Gerald." Said I said, "Good morning, all." Oh, okay. It's, they're just saying hi. That's all. They, they saw you say hi, but they just all saying hi back. We're all saying good morning. I just, I was reading the chat. I was doing what Cindy does. She reads the chat. And I usually don't do that. So my bad. My bad. Sorry, puppy. Not good. My dad is in the hospital. My mom is with him right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope he gets. Hope he's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I saw you on the Flowbex uh, live. What's the matter with your dad? What happened? <clears throat> oh man. I don't know, but Dad, what I said I was doing when I talked to you, yeah, that went well. I'm, I'm fine with that. But that uh, that worked out. But uh, other than that, um, uh, I don't know. I just feel a little strange. I'm not sure. <coughs> Rocco said he's a little out of it today, but only a grinder will revive me. There you go. Go get an Italian hoagie. Get a grinder. Maybe you'll feel better. Speaking of stone tired, neighbors tweaking. Neighbors tweaking. What? He's got bass blasting and a half naked trying to mow the yard. He's got bass blasting, bass bass blasting, and is half naked trying to mow the yard. He tweaking what on drugs or something? You mean Tina? The only time I ever heard tweaking about drugs was on uh, crystal meth. People would tweak. If that's what you meant. He woke up this morning with. Slurred speech and sweating and dizziness and tongue numb. Oh, that's not good. That's a sign of a stroke, isn't it? <clears throat> the sweating and dizziness is what I get a lot. That's that's what happened to me again yesterday. I was telling you guys it happened to me yesterday, which is weird. And then it went away. But not. I don't get the no numbing in the tongue or. But what did they say? It was a stroke. I, I that sucked. Man. I'm sorry, Katie. I hope he's going to be okay. Powdered moonshine. Powdered moonshine. Really? Is that what they call it, Billy? I lived in California, man. I saw it firsthand. That crystal meth, man. Crazy shit. Personal experience is something you do not want to get into in your life. Trust me on that one. No, I have not heard yet. Okay. Well, keep keep me in touch, man. Let us know if you hear anything. I'm sending my prayers, Katie. <clears throat> Yeah, we're all sending prayers. Everybody put uh, some prayer emojis in the chat, please. <clears throat> Tina said, yep, he's on meth. That's what they call it in Polk County. Crystal me. Crystal me. Crystal meth, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, thanks, Katie. I hope he gets better, honey. <clears throat> Powdered moonshine. I've never heard it said like that. Nah. I've heard it, uh, obviously, just meth, crystal, um, glass. You call it glass. Um, I don't know. I've never really heard anything else, really. I mean, I lived out in Cali for a year. I saw it, like I said, firsthand. It was around all the time, and it was it was uh, crazy. Um, I'm not going to listen. I don't say you guys are my friends and my family. I don't lie to anybody. I dabbled. Uh, it wasn't for me, though. I, I liked it too much. That's why it wasn't for me. I didn't like it because it was too good. Craziest thing I've ever done in my life, to be honest with you. And, um yeah, it's like glass. I've heard. I heard glass. Uh, they call it glass in um, Breaking Bad. I think I've heard it in there, but I've never heard it uh, any of the really names except for meth or crystal. I never heard of powered moonshine either. It's kind of I like that name. It's pretty wild, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, crazy drug, man. Crazy drug. My dad could tell you stories. Friggin' shooting jackrabbits in the desert with a friggin' pellet gun. Uh, I, had a, I had a BB pellet gun, like you saw. You had, we got loaded with these pellets, and then it had backed up with a BB. You ever you ever see those, Billy? It was like a little air, a uh, little air pump rifle. I think it was cool, man. And uh, it was powerful, man. It took out jackrabbits with it. You just shoot them right in the friggin' back of the head, back in the neck, man. Those things were out, one shot. But uh, <laughs> grew up in Mad Beach. I seen how bad it was. I knew better. Yeah, yeah. No. I was young and stupid, you know. You do stupid decisions when you're young. I was eight and nineteen years old when I lived out there, and uh, 
it was whatever. Like I said, I tried it for a little bit. I, it wasn't for me, you know, and I wound up coming home, you know, pretty much, uh, all right, get out of California, get out of here, go back to Jersey. And uh, I did. They sent me on a Greyhound back home and I'm home. I've been home ever since. Never looked back. It was a stupid decision on my part to try it, but I did. And it's fucking it's dangerous, man. It's a dangerous drug. It really is. My buddy I went out there with, I found out after about a month or two there that that's, that's all he wanted to do. That that was the reason why he went back and said, cause I don't know. I haven't heard from him and it's been fucking 30 years, man. Almost 30 years. Shit. My birthday will be 29 years. I haven't heard from that kid. It's crazy. Who knows if he's even alive, man. If he, if he got back into that shit, who knows? Feel bad because he was a good kid, man. He came out here because his uh his his parents lived out there in Cali. When I told you I lived in Silver Lakes up in um, San Bernardino County, that's where that's where that was. And uh, okay, all gotta go. Have a peaceful day. Thanks, Pop. Love you, man. I'll talk to you in a little while. Um, so yeah, when I when I bring up Cali, that's 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 where that was. And don't get me wrong, that's I I had a job up in the mountains. Like I said, we left our house. It was a hundred degrees hot and shorts and on the way there we had to get dressed because we worked at a ski resort up in uh, Wrightwood mountain it was crazy man crazy life i'll tell you it was really it was crazy it was fun but um most of the time really like i said i did try that shit it wasn't for me it was because it was really good but it wasn't for me because it wasn't you know some some things just don't mix with people and like you know some people can't drink rum because they get fucking crazy you know what i mean and that shit wasn't good for me in that aspect so i was like you know what i just basically smoked pot out there and uh fished a lot did a lot of good bass fishing out there, and it's cool, man. It was, it was cool. Was it, it, let put it this way: uh, adventures and stories with F4C. Right here's one of them. That was my one of my adventures in my life. You know, I was young. I said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go three thousand miles away from home. And that was the first time I ever felt it in my life, honestly, because I was never away from my family or anything. You know, like I was like, three thousand miles away. You know, shit. That's you're a long way away from your family. It's it's hard, man. I didn't know anybody, nobody except for that kid Dennis, man. And I worked at him. I worked with him at a, at a gas station over here in Jersey for like I don't know. I got I got to know him here for maybe a year or so. You know, got to be good friends. We used to hang out all the time, whatever. He was a cool kid. And then, like I said, when we went out there, then it all changed. You know, he turned into uh, Mister Fucking Meth Head. You know, that's all he that's all he cared about. But adventures and stories. There's one of them, guys, under the belt. Uh, you guys know that one now. So, yep. Yeah, I hope so too, Katie. Couldn't drink neither. Same here, Zig. Uh, what did you say? Thank the Lord I was allergic to all kinds of medicine, so I never tried it. Yeah, good. Definitely good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got meaner than a rattlesnake if I drink whiskey. I'm a happy drunk. That's good. See, that's some people are, you know, it depends what you, you know, if you drink it, you get crazy. Me, tequila, I love tequila. Here's the thing I could drink Patron Silver, I'm fine. I get like so mellow from it. If I drink Cuervo and I'm drinking beers, forget it. I guess I can't stop drinking it. I could just pet, just shot, 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 shot. Next thing you know, you're blacked out and you fucking wake up Wednesday. And you're like, what the hell happened? Yeah. Jose got a hold of your ass. That's what happened. I could not see Mary drunk. <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen her drink, you know, on, on Lotto King's uh, paddle. She likes her little white claws and stuff, but I don't know if I could see her drunk either. Yeah. I'll put it this way, meaner than a rattlesnake drunk. I don't know if I could see that. <coughs> Hi, Flubbeck. Thank you for sending a few people over, honey. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Um, yeah, that's some people just can't, you know, they can't handle liquor because it makes them fucking crazy. Like, I'm, I'm one I can drink beers all day and I'm fine. I just get happy, you know. But like I said, certain alcohols, Jose's one of them. Like I, like I said, I could drink Patron, but Patron is not one of those one of those tequilas. You're, you're gonna sit there and do shot, shot, shots when you're young and stupid, either. You know, when you get you, you get introduced to it when you're a little older, and you were a party animal. G. Well, no, not a party animal, but I dabbled in shit. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I, I got stories too, Billy. <laughs> I'm pretty tame now. I, I guess I got some stories. You know, I did some stupid shit in my life. It's the truth, but it is what it is. You know, but I drank casually for a long time you know I, but i was able i wasn't one that it, it became a problem for me it never did i didn't need alcohol that's the difference some people they drink and they need it i don't need it you know i could take it or leave it and i enjoyed it don't get me wrong you know i did and now that i'm sick and i don't drink i don't miss it for one second i really don't 
do I wish I had a beer when I'm fishing with my dad? Because it's something we did. It was a tradition. You know, we stopped at the liquor store, get a couple of tall boys, little Barbies, a couple of little Jim Beamers, you know, have a good time. But we could have a good time without it. That's basically my whole point here, guys. You know, you could you could have fun without drugs or alcohol, period. Just be yourself and be happy. You don't need anything, you know. But some people can't have a good time without some kind of influence, you know, and it's it's horrible to see. I loved watching the drunks. It was more fun. Yeah, I hear you. Look at me, we had we had a lot of good fun. You know, I worked at a bar for seven years too. So I mean, that was that was difficult. Not difficult. It was freaking great. I mean, I got off of work. I mean, believe it or not, my boss loved what he saw me when he came back to count the draw at freaking quarter to two in the morning, and he loved when I was there because I would be there almost every night. I'd get out of work at eleven thirty, and I'd be there at quarter to two when he came back to shut the drawers down. And uh, he was always happy. Hey, hey, Jerry, how you doing? He's always happy to see me because I was putting back half my paycheck every week. You know, he would pay me, and I would get back. It would go back to him most of it during the week. So crazy, you know. But listen, we didn't get wasted. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. They had, um, speaking of uh, trivia, they had these boxes. I don't know if you ever seen them at a bar, and it goes on the TV, and um, it's it's nationwide actually. And you put in your name or whatever, and you're, you're competing against people all over the country. I forget what it was called, man. If anybody remembers that, let me know. Because I was thinking about it the other day. It's, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. But we, there was, like, I'm trying to think. Me, uh, Justin, his wife, Zoe and Carolyn. Uh, Mike used to come in. He used to make these noises all the time. He'd be drunk out of nowhere. He'd just be like, like loud as hell, bro, at a bar. People were like, what the hell was that? Uh, but he was cool. He worked at night, so he would, he would come in after work at like 11, 30, 12 o'clock for like the last hour or two. There was about eight of us that played uh, this game, uh, Mega Touch. Mega Touch, that was the name of it, Mega Touch. If you guys ever saw that, yeah. It's called Mega Touch. It's these little boxes, and then you have, you know, you can you can type in there, and, and it's just trivia game. It's fucking fun, man. We used to have a lot of, lot of fun with that. Sometimes the boss would come back, and he'd sit there and play with us for like a half an hour, you know, if he came early. And, uh, but my, my original point was uh, we just had fun, you know. We just like I said, I, I worked there, so I got out of work and freaking sit there, have a few drinks. Next thing you know, I can head home, you know, two o'clock. How was the water? So very nice, very nice. The water. I don't know. I think I threw it away, Katie. Actually, did I? Yeah, I think I threw it out, man. Shit. I, I was cleaning up in here yesterday, and I think I threw it away. Yeah, I did, Katie. Oh well. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go back to Walgreens again one day. Yeah, today I, I I'm I have the bowling basket, but I don't have the um the nice one I threw away. Yeah, my, I'm sorry, Ming. Twenty by, why that is twenty by forty? You showed the picture when uh, when you were on your phone. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I can't think. Reboot, reboot, brain. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're back. When you were on the panel and you showed your yard, that didn't look twenty by forty, but twenty by forty is pretty pretty big. But the camera never does justice like that, so I guess uh, blech, I just looked over and uh, I had two pieces of Taylor ham left, so I made Taylor ham and egg because I didn't have any cheese. And I took the egg off because it just wasn't working for me. I don't know why. And I just looked over at the plate and it just made me almost throw up. Ugh. Ugh, let me get rid of that. I don't want to look at that anymore. Oh, shit. Uh, I did an 11 o'clock alarm. Okay, later, ladies and gents. 11 o'clock. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we were just talking about uh, things in life, yeah. It was casual drinking, though, you know, different. You know, it's not like we sat there and, you know, our goal was to get drunk. No, it just hang out, have a few drinks, and have some fun. And everybody would take turns and buy rounds. That's how it's, it's cool like that, you know, when you're – I enjoyed – let's put it to you this way. I enjoyed the bar scene then more than now. I mean, I don't go out at all anymore. Probably for the last five, six years maybe I don't go to a bar. Good morning, D-Man. What's going on? But back then I really enjoyed it. Because you're around your friends, you know, and, and believe it or not, it's it was almost cheaper to drink because you were with, you know, seven, eight people and everybody would buy around, you know what I mean? 
like just take turns going down the line. You know, you they buy around, they buy around, they buy around. I mean, it. I don't know. It was just fun. I need a six foot fence till I move. Ugh. Is anybody listening to my story anyway? You guys have little side like side conversations. I don't even know if anybody's listening to my stories. This is stories and adventures with me. Your pool looks great, uh, Billy. It really does. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, so as of right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people for trivia. Are you in, Billy, tonight? You're in, right? You and Kat? <coughs> Probably going to go live around 3, 3.15. I am. I love a good story. Well, yeah, you came in late. You missed some of it. <laughs> we were talking about Cali and this and that. And uh, Zigzag, are you going to be here? You want to play trivia tonight or no? I say tonight, 3.30. We're going to start probably. Right now I have uh, Mary. I wrote down Gigability and Kat. Katie. Um, I don't know if Katie is going to today. Um, now that's you know, because of her dad. But let me know, Katie. You're still in the chat. Hazel Eyes is here. Hi, Hazel Eyes. Uh, we got NJ. Big Sexy and David Clark said he'll play. So three more people to play if they want to. Just got to let me know. <clears throat> Good morning, Hazel. How are you? Did you say no on the um, zigzag? Did you say no the, on the uh, trivia? Is that why you said no? I wasn't sure if that was before I asked the question or after that you put no. That would overwork my brain. Oh, okay. So no. All right. No problem. That's a lot of fun. We had we had a good time last week. Come here and hang out at least. It'd be fun. I don't know if D Man wants to play. You want to play today, D Man? Are you gonna be are you gonna be live or do you have to go to work? I don't know what you I don't know what your deal is. I'm good F R C. How are you? I'm okay. I mean I'm so so today. I don't I don't feel great, but you know, I don't feel like total shit, but I don't feel great. <clears throat> I will let yeah, let me know, uh, Katie. In a way, if there's nothing you can do and you're not gonna and you're not going to the hospital, if you're just gonna be home, I would do it just to get your mind off it for a little while, you know. And I'm not saying that because I need somebody to play. I'm saying it because it's good for you, you know. You know, sitting there worrying, worrying, worrying is uh, is not great either, you know. So you just let me know. I will come and watch. Okay. Uh I asked, uh, where's Billy? Yes. Yes, what, Katie? I'm sorry, honey. Uh, I asked D-Man, D-Man, you here? You gonna, you want to play or you have to, you're going to be at work? or It doesn't cost anything to play, guys. We're just going to play for fun. You know, I'll send you out some uh, channel stickers, but next week we'll start playing for uh, a money prize. The top winner, I'll get 10 bucks starting next Tuesday. So this week is going to be for funsies, really. Hey, what's up, sugar? How you doing, boo? Good to see you. Are you going to be around tonight? Do you want to play um, trivia? 3.30? Mishak, I'll write you down if you want to play. It's nothing. It doesn't cost anything to play. <clears throat> right now I have seven. I need three other people to, to get ten people. Otherwise, we'll play with what we have. I will watch today just in case. Yeah, I'm not going to write you down. I, I wrote you down, Katie, but just, you know. I'll, you know what? I'll take you off. You let me know when we go live later if we change your mind, okay? I'm going to cross you out. So we need four people. I can try 3.30. Yeah, 3.30. We're probably not going to start until about quarter to four, so I'll write you down, Mishak. All right, Mishak. I'll write you down. All right, so we have uh, we still have three to get ten people. If not, we'll run with whatever we have. It's fine. Either way, it doesn't matter. We played with seven the other day. I dislike going shopping. I love going shopping, actually. Well, I mean, when I have the money to. And it depends what kind of shopping you're talking about. What are you shopping for? The man, where you at, bro? Are you still here? He came in, and then I don't know what happened. I asked him if he wanted to play, and he never answered me back. The last he said was at 1049. He said hello to Hazel. And then I haven't seen him again, so I don't know. Maybe he went to start his live. I don't, really don't know. Just a big shout-out to 12 people in the chat. 10 thumbs up. I appreciate it. 
Billy's here. I'm here. And let me take a wild guess where you're at. You're in the booth. Am I right? Are you in the booth? I'm never going to live that one down. The booth. I love my booth. I cleaned up my booth yesterday. I had a bunch of shit on the table. I cleared off and wiped everything down. And Hazel eyes for food. You want to, do you want to, you want me to write you down, Hazel? Are you going to be here later? You want to play or no? How many boost listening to you and watching? How many? Huh? How many boost listening to you? What are you talking about? We got 12 thumbs up. I see 11. I got 11 and 11, but we'll take 12. That's cool. Talk to text. Don't want to work today. I see that. What did you mean? How many boost listening to you and watching TV? I know I get you're listening and watching TV, but you're saying you're at the booth? I'm not sure. Probably. Uh, all right. So Hazel, let me know. And D-Man, let me know. If you are here and come back and you want to play trivia, and I'll write you down. So we have Mary, Gig, Cat, Mishak, NJ, Fish and Maniac, Marky Mark, Big Sexy, and David Clark. I don't even know who's Big Sexy. I don't even know who Big Sexy is. I just know that's a, that's a channel name, Big Sexy. Sitting in the booth, listening to you and watching TV. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm sitting in the couch. <clears throat> No, I was actually, to be honest with you, I was going to go live from the booth today. I was, because it's actually better for my back to sit in there. But I didn't feel like carrying everything over there, even though it was the same distance carrying it all in here. But <coughs> I can see the TV better in here, straight ahead. I can see it from the kitchen too, but I just didn't feel like sitting in the booth. Maybe we'll go from the we'll go from the booth later <coughs> for uh, trivia. So yeah, we'll um, we'll do. You know what we'll do? I'll listen. I'll sit in and listen. To, okay, no problem. It's all good. Like I said I ain't I, you know I ain't pressuring anybody. So we have that one. All these stickers were made by um, Miss Shack, who's in the chat. She made my she made my channel stickers. Uh, if you guys want channel stickers made, talk to her. Big sexy's Willie. Oh okay. Willie. Willie from uh, Florida. Willie. If that's Willie from Florida, then I know exactly who it is. Uh, she made this one too. She made this one. This was not like I said. This one wasn't my favorite of the two. It actually goes this way, but I still like it. the The concept was uh, was pretty cool on her part. I, I did like that part, but I'd like the other one a little bit better. And she knows that. I told her uh, that one. I love. I love. I just love that the fish hook. That that was just uh, between me and her. We came up with that. That was just freaking genius. And then she came up with the um, with the money bag on the bottom. See, I want to I want to go back to I want to make more of these, but I want to do A and S, like I said, adventures and stories, fishing for clams. I'm always going to be fishing for clams. I'm not going to change that. And then just keep that fishing hook thing, you know that, and get rid of the money bag. To be honest, but I'll talk to Miss um, Shack about that. Yeah, the, she, she she let me tell you something, guys. She's really good. If you need channel stickers made, talk to her, man. She'll she'll hook you up. These are hers. These are her. This is her channel right here. These I like hers too. Hers came out great. I'll throw in one of hers too for tonight. I'll throw in one of hers too. These. This is her channel sticker. You can see her icon. It's the same thing. Yeah, I'll, I have two left, Mishaka. Yours. I had I had about six or seven. I had them on the coffee table, but when I had that friggin' spill of my coffee fiasco, I lost a bunch of mine and the rest of yours. I had them. On a, I had them in a paper clip. Dude, they're all fucking ruined, man. I was so pissed. <clears throat> all right, thank you, Zigzag. Good call. <clears throat> I start talking, and I forget all about it. Oh, I hope they don't mess me up today, man. Uh, my, I'll tell you what, my doctor said I can I could take a day off here and there. I was almost thinking about not taking them today, <sighs> but I don't know. Maybe I'll take them all. I'll take off tomorrow. Okay, I got you. Thank you for my Sienna coin too. Okay, I got you. Thank you for my Sienna coin, too. What do you mean, your Sienna coin? Refresh my memory. I don't remember. <sighs> I told you. these. It's probably these right here that I take that mess up my memory so bad. So I apologize if I forgot, man. 
your Sienna coin. Which one? The um the West Virginia one? Was it that one? Not the actual Sienna coin. The uh, the, the West Virginia one, right? I sent that back with your with your uh, tickets, right? An older man has a shopping cart full of two liter root beer. <laughs> was it you that sent me Sienna? Coin? Was it was it the actual Sienna's coin or was it the um the West Virginia the aluminum coin? Was it that one? Because I think I sent you that one, the West Virginia coin. No, her actual coin? No, I don't think I sent that to you. I don't think so. No, because I have both of hers. And um, I don't think I did. That'll take credit for something I didn't do. And I really don't think I did. I don't think that was me. I'm not sure it was. If it was, I totally forgot. But I really don't remember it being me, Meshach. But maybe I did. I don't, I really, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't remember. But I'm not going to take credit for it because I do not remember. But damn, medicine sucks. Maybe I did. I, to be honest with you, Mishak, I probably did. I just, these fucking meds are killing me, man. I can't remember shit. <clears throat> I might have had two of the other ones. I, I know she, I had the first one and then she sent me the other one a while after. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember Mishak, to be honest. But anywho, let's move on. But. Um, yeah, I would love to, I would love to, maybe if you can, um, remake this one again, but get rid of the, get rid of this and throw in A and S with, you know, the A and S W slash, you know, fishing for claimers. Well, I, I don't even want it fishing for claimers. I want it to be A and S W slash F four C, you know, if you have time and you have the, you know, the stuff to do it or whatever, if you, if you want to do it as a gift, if you can't, then I'll wait till I, uh, get money and I'll. I'll buy them from you, but I know you're going to tell me to shush, shush my mouth, but I don't want to do anything for free. Um, what was I thinking? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I was thinking. It's scary, isn't it? I told you these might suck. Yeah, but he told me, I know I was talking about my doctor saying about those meds, that we can periodically take some time off from them if I wanted to. But he said for he wants me to monitor it very closely with side effects. So I'm going to tell him, you know, when I see him in, I'm not going to see him in three weeks or well, two weeks. I'm going to see him in like five weeks because he's on vacation this time I go. He's going he's going back to Israel for um, for the holiday, for the holiday they have going on. I don't know. But um, I knew that was coming. Hush it, G. It's no problem. You're right. You know me, so I do. You tell me, hush it. Hush your mouth. I'm still here listening and writing. Thank you, uh, Flo Beck. I appreciate that. How's it coming along with the, uh, the the letter board? Is it getting easier for you? I know you've been you were doing it for a while. I think about that, Flo Beck. I think about certain things all the time. It's crazy. I try to keep my brain fresh. Um, yeah. I think that's all I was thinking about. I don't know. I kind of sidetracked myself in my own mind. Uh, I don't know. We could do it for a coin or something, maybe. For the winner tonight. You know, a couple of stickers and uh, top winner will get three stickers, one of each, one of each of mine, and I'll send out one of my shacks. And um, let's see. I mean, let me get up. Let me, let me go find something. Let's see what I want to part with today. Let's see what I'll part with this week. And I'm going to do this randomly too, guys. So don't say, oh, don't do that because they're yours. I don't care. I do it. I, I do that. I've done this in the past. I had a New York lottery coin that was given to me by Big Rob. A lot of, only the OGs will know who that is. If the man's here, he'll remember Big Rob from New York. He sent it to me probably nine years ago, and then I gave it to um, – I sent it to Country Goes Down as a gift one time. And he'll pull it out from time to time. Um, I still have these other ones that I got to get out too, these, uh, these other coins. I haven't put to the side. I'll get them out to somebody soon. But, yeah, I had one of these, the New York Lottery aluminum coin. I have a bunch of them now. Um, 
what's her name sent to me? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't think of her name. Uh, Taste the Rainbow. <clears throat> Fancy Nancy from New York. She sent me a bunch of them. So I do have a bunch of those now. But um, yeah, it wasn't this one. It wasn't this one, was it, uh, Ms. Shack? The West Virginia lottery? Not, it wasn't that one, right? It was their actual coin. I'm not working on letters. I'm in a car. Oh, okay. Because you said you were writing. So I didn't know if you were doing that. Oh, all right, Michelle. Uh, I could throw in, I'll throw in a 50 year anniversary uh, New Jersey lottery scratcher. I love this coin. My brother. My brother from another mother. Country goes to town. Nobody's getting that one. They, you, can't, you can't get those. I don't think he has them anymore. Uh, there's Sienna's right here, this one. With the um, the West Virginia on the back, that one is number seventeen, and then she somebody else got seventeen already on the um, Rainbow Bridge one. So she, I got one seventeen on that one. The fronts are the same. Beautiful coin, very very well made, very beautiful coin. He's doing a reprint. I think she sent me a West Virginia coin. Okay, he's doing a reprint. Who is country? <laughs> I think he's doing something. He's coming up with a different design, I think he said, if that's what you're talking about. Great coin right there, M2M. I'll never get rid of that one either. That one's famous. Um, all right, no more in there. That's just regular change. I have my original. This one I have missed money a long time. I've had this one for, I don't know, two years maybe. Scratch me a lot of good winners. And then I have a blue one. And then I have another one, too, somewhere. I have another colored one. I don't know. I have, like, three or four different color variations. So, yeah, I'll throw in a 50-year um, anniversary coin. Uh, Got to be OG on here to have one of these. Tiny Tots. <laughs> that was Trash or Treasure. My friend. Tot. She doesn't do anything anymore. Yeah, Country said he might have some by the end of this month. But, yeah, I think he's doing a new uh, new design, I think he said, Meshach. Could have sworn he said that last time I talked to him. They hit the OG. That's the OG hard rack. I showed you guys that before. You know what I'll do? I'll even throw in a um... – no, I can't. I only have one. Miss Money said she's going to send me more. I don't really use them. They're good for – you know what these are good for? If you scratch um, crosswords or bingos. They they do very very well. I don't I don't like using them though. There's my other Miss Money, the mini. That's the mini to the original silver, but that's a small one. Uh, trying to see which one I want to give out to y'all. I have another New York one, but I don't know if I want to part with them. They scratch so good. I mean, I don't scratch tickets anymore, but I have like two or three now of the the New York City ones. I like them a lot. I got a Miss Money dog tag. Yeah, I got about three or four of them, actually. It's old. That's OG. You got to be OG on here to know that one. Cash Cody. I went through all these the other day. I'm, I'm not going through them to show you guys again. I know it's repetitive, but I'm just trying to find the one I really like. The one I want to actually, the one I want to throw in for you guys. There was one I had on my mind. I can't find it. How about uh, I'll throw in I'll throw in a scratch and tater. How's that? That's a Florida channel. He scratches down your way, Billy. He's in Florida. Not a big fan. Somebody gave that to me. I just I don't know. I've been trying to part with it for a long time. I guess today's a good time to do it. So I'll throw that in too. This is this is a sweet coin, man. I miss her too, man. She was awesome. Nightingale scratcher. She's from New Jersey. She was like one of the only Jersey channels, except for well, we got Matt Scratch Kuji, but he doesn't have a coin. And I think he's gonna make them. And then um uh, Fire Scratcher. But I haven't seen him around. I don't know what Fire Scratcher's up to. Uh, so I'll throw in the uh, 50 year anniversary and I'll throw in the scratch and tater. To the winner tonight. So at least there'll be something. You'll get it. You'll get a prize. That's cool. All right. I'm good with that. 
I'm good with that if you guys are good with that. And if you know me, I don't I don't give away my coins that easily. Because I really I really they have, have a lot of story involved in them, you know, stories and memories. But I love you guys and I want to give you something for playing. So we'll do that, that, and stickers. Deal. Bet. There we go. They're sitting out. Where we at here? Let's get back to the chat. What am I missing? The only scratching I do, G, is my ass. <laughs> I hear you. I have some of those scratch tools coming in with a shamrock. Nice. What do you mean with a shamrock? I have some of those scratch tools coming with a shamrock. No, not not the one, the one, the uh, OG one. That's Cash Cody. He hasn't made those in eight years, nine years. Yeah, the dog tags are good. You know why? Because they scratch really, really great. It's like these right here. If I ever, if I ever do buy bingos and stuff, I scratch with these. And I love this one because this is a fancy Nancy, and she thought of me with this one. This is a, uh, it's a uh, fancy Nancy number nine, the New York City Cancer. She had these made for um, for cancer awareness. Taste the rainbow. Members only. That's why I got that one. I'm not a member anymore, but I was, and that I couldn't afford it anymore. So those are member only dog tags. You had to be a member on her channel to get those, and she gave them away. <clears throat> dog tags are they're good to scratch with. Yeah, they have these have a good edge. Even the original Miss Money one, I'll tell you what, through the years, I've been scratching with that one for like three, four years. and Oh, no, maybe three years. I don't think she's been around that long. Maybe three years, two and a half, something like that she's been around. And um, I was one of the first persons to get one of her original dog tags because her first original was the uh, that one little scratcher that I said used for uh, bingos and crosswords. And that was her original scratcher. Um, and then she did the dog tags, and then now she's, she's blowing up. Her, her channel's great. Oh, the little scratcher keychain. You're making them? Oh, cool. Are they are they gonna have your channel name on it, Miss Shack? That's cool. I didn't even know you were doing that. Or are you just are you just buying a bunch of them like that? That's cool. Uh, oh shit, you know what I didn't even realize? Well, I haven't got shut down yet. The TV's loud, actually. I'm surprised I didn't know. Well, I don't think that. I don't think they give you a copyright for old TV like that. All the uh, old shows. I don't think they can give you a copyright for that. But you never know. No buying from Timu. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's we'll have something. You know what? You're gonna give them away. I'm sure, you get a great deal on Timu. Also, they have good deals on there for a lot of stuff. I got a freaking fishing reel for. Three dollars. I showed you guys that. Three bucks, I think it was, or two dollars, something like that. It's not the best reel in the world, but you know what? For the fishing I do down the river, I can use it, you know, for catching bluegills and stuff. Uh, shout out to the seven people and 13 thumbs up. Probably 14. Uh, what else can we talk about today? I took my meds, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, that one shit, that sounds good. That's the uh, lavender, lavender and vanilla. This must bang a langa. All right. Yeah, I'm supposed to go shopping today, but I don't know. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but we'll see. That could just be a, a, a medicine mirage that I'm feeling okay. Hey, boss Andrew, what's up? China. Team of Donald Trump's voice. China. China. I try to say it. I can't. I'm back. I had to take care of something. Oh, good, man. I was talking to you, and then you weren't here. I was, I was hoping everything was all right with you, bro. What's going on, Boss Andrew? Thanks for sharing it out. I appreciate it, bud. 
might make some eventually. He should, Mishak. And then start being consistent. I've been telling you that words, the, the word is, means a lot on your channel, man, consistency. Gracias. D-Man, are you going to be around later? Do you, want to, do you want me to write you down for trivia or no? I need three more players to make 10. If not, we just go with whatever we have. I'm going to start around uh, 3.30. I don't know if you're going to be around or if you got to be at work. I'm not really sure. Boss Andrew is from your channel? I, I've known Boss Andrew for a while, D-Man. <clears throat> he's, just, he's just from your channel? You, you let him out of the cage once in a while? Oh, me. He's from my channel. Boss Andrew has been sharing out my content since scratching time, scratching days. <laughs> right, boss? Yeah, well, maybe yes, maybe no. I, I know you have. There's a few people that share out my stuff, and you've been doing it for a while. I will, but I'll just watch this week. Uh, everybody keeps saying that, man. Why? Why are you just going to watch? Just play. It doesn't cost you anything. Whatever. I think my being sporadic is better. Make people miss me. <laughs> That's right. You know we'll do that. Yeah, exactly, boss. Used to share out my, whenever I was doing books and mixes and stuff, used to share out my lives all the time. <clears throat> no, I don't, I don't want you to do it just to please me. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. I'm just saying if you want me to, I'll write you down. <clears throat> I, wa I want you to want to play. If you don't want to play, just say so. It's no big deal. You're not hurting my feelings, bro. It just is what it is. I just figure if you're going to be there, why not play, you know? That's my point, but all good. I'm not forcing anybody, man. How you doing, Tina? How you feeling? How's everybody doing? Any any better progress? <clears throat> oh, look, Billy. See. I might have forgot. Well, look what it says right there. Billy Gigability, April 18th. Okay. I don't bullshit, bro. I might forget, but I knew I had that shit written down. That's written down on my prayer list. I knew I had it somewhere. All right, D-Man. D-Man, I'll write you down. You just let me know later. when you cook. If you're here, then you'll play. If you're not here, then I know you ain't playing. All right, so two more people. I need two people to want to play. If not, then uh, we'll go with whatever we have. Extremely tired. Overdid it yesterday. Cleaning top to bottom. I hear you. Take it easy today. All right, D-Man. No problem, bro. I wrote you down. See what happens. I saw Disco Biscuits. What do you mean? Yeah, you did. Disco Biscuits. Yep. It's a YouTube channel. <clears throat> Yeah. Rocco told me about Disco Biscuits. I write everything down because I forget. So, Yeah, I know. It's, uh, yeah, I hate that too, man. I really particularly don't like the MRI machine either, depending what test I get. Like when they did the um, the brain scan, dude, that one sucked, bro, because that freaking shit is right here. Like, man, it's like right on your nose, and you got to sit still, bro, for like a half an hour. I was like, damn, this sucks. I don't like that, like, claustrophobic feeling. I, I don't like it. Like, I don't have anxiety, but if I ever did, that's the time I would feel like I did, I guess. I know the feeling. Yeah. This is horrible. Um, absolutely. It's already there. Yep. It's already there, zigzagging. Yeah. Did it? Did I or no? Let me see. No. I have Katie here, two friends, but I'm going to put in and dead. Thanks, zigzag. I thought I did already. And uh, it's there. I have a long list, man. I'm sad that I have a long list, but you know, I I don't just pray for people that are uh, just need, you know, because they're sick. I pray for, for a lot of different reasons. You know, I have Mary. Uh, I pray for Mary every day. Just, uh, my parents, my buddy Curtis on uh, Country Goes to Town. Even D Man, I pray for D Man all the time too. Gracie's dad. 
Angel. Rock, I was praying for Angel every day for the job, and he got the job. Rocco, Rocco's nephew, Cassie, uh, Mary's sister, Gracie again, Billy, uh, Katie, her friends and her dad, Wolfie, Skipjack, Cindy, brother. Um, yeah, I don't know. I disco biscuits on the bottom. And then Rocco, Crazy Italian sent you. Oh, yeah, Rocco sent me to that channel, yeah. Yep, so that is what it is. There you go. Thanks for stopping by my channel. There you go. Everybody uh, get with each other, man. That's cool. Drop your links, whatever. That's why you guys have wrenches, too. Just drop your links, whatever, and everybody can connect with each other. Exactly, D-Man. Amen to that, brother. Yep. Idiot just rolled out the door and down the steps. Who? What are you talking about, Tina? Who rolled out the door and down the steps? What is she talking about? Oh, the tweaker next door. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Where do you live again, Tina? I forgot, man. Don't get mad. I forget. But I guess it shits everywhere, right? All over the country. You know where freak? Oh, they call it ice, too. Crystal meth, ice. You call it ice in uh, in Hawaii, big time. I know it's a big problem in Hawaii. Some of the islands there, North Carolina. That's right. Wow, freaking meth is bad in North Carolina. What's the world coming to? When I think of North Carolina, I think of just beautiful. You know what I mean? That's that's the first word that comes to my mind. Beautiful, nice place to live. You know, good place to raise to raise children and family. It's crazy. Wow. Did you laugh at him? <laughs> Tweaker channels do good. Yeah. Blue Ridge, exactly. Yeah, Blue Ridge Mountains. Yep. Yeah. That's that's why I said, you know, I, I when I think of that, I think of Blue Ridge Mountains. I think of beautiful, gorgeous. You know, like these. Those are the adjectives I come up with. Not Tweaker Island. You know what I mean? I would never think that the crystal meth is a problem in in North Carolina, specifically in the Blue Ridge Mountain area. But I guess it's everywhere, unfortunately. Wow. How did I go from 14 people to six? Dang it. America's funny home videos, right? Exactly. Should have filmed it. That would have been funny as hell. I would have loved to have seen that. What's going on, everybody? Filming tweakers gets lots of views. You think? I'm sure, it would. I'm sure it would if they freaking falling down steps and shit. I'm guessing. It'd be pretty funny. Sometimes I don't understand your humor, Billy. Sometimes. Most of the time I do, but like I don't know if you like being funny or being sarcastic at the same time. Probably at the same time, doing both. <laughs> no, I'm gonna rot in hell. Why you say that, Mary? Nah, I don't say that. Bringing it on themselves. I'm here doing some of my diamond art. I have a ton of black to do on this Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, cool. Are you live or no? I know. Uh, sometimes you're live and you come over here too. I did see you live this morning. But you're, you're an hour behind me, right, D-Man? I wanted to ask you that the other day. You're an hour difference, right? Ah, Mary, it's all right. You're not, you're not doing it in vain, you know? You're just, you're just being funny. Both. That's what I figured. Yeah. I'm starting to figure it out a little bit, Billy.
Now I'm here for you, brother. Yeah, central, central time zone. Yeah, I always forget that uh, Dallas is central time. It's an hour difference. It's crazy. It isn't. All right, Texas is the only state that has all three time zones, right? Isn't like Eastern Texas is Eastern Standard Time. Dallas area is central. And then is in um, where which McCall's from? Sun City, Scratchers. Where are they from? Um, is it San Antonio? Am I right? Aren't they? Uh, aren't they in um, a different time zone too? I could have sworn that. I could have sworn they said something about that years ago when we were all hanging out. Where I'm at, I sleep with a pew pew under my pillow. Smallest county in the state, and the sheriff's department is scared. To be out here unless there's three cars and a dog. Oh wow. All of Texas is central time zone. Really? No, I could have sworn. Where's Sun City at? Sun City's where? Just laugh, Mary. It's good for you. Yeah. Where's my phone? Oh. I'm having a youth a youth turkey hunt in New Jersey this Saturday. I was trying to do that, but never did. Oh, really? But I thought, let me see. What time zones are in the state of Texas? Texas is in central daylight time. Mm. Yeah, central daylight time. But where? where is, um? no, see? Mountain daylight time, El Paso. El Paso is is mountain time. That's what it says on my phone. Central Daylight Time, time zone in Austin, Texas, 1024 a.m. It's 924 a.m. in El Paso. Isn't that where, where Sun City's at? Aren't they over there somewhere? I like El Paso somewhere over there. I could have sworn that because I remember them saying that they were in mountain time. Yeah, I think I saw that, Michelle. Congrats. Yeah, I think I even said congratulations in the comments. Yeah, you should put me in a spot with you. I'm just kidding. I can't. I, I, I miss playing in this game. It's just fun. Because, you know, even a half spot, 12 bucks, you can win, you know, half whatever it is. You hit 100 on a ticket. As a winner, you're getting 100 plus 100. So you split with somebody, you're getting 100 bucks. Pretty good payday. Scratch and Steph, good morning, all. What's up, Marky Mark? What's going on, buddy? Okay, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. It says it right there. Mountain, mountain daylight time. Yeah, El Paso. Uh, it's a nine twenty-four there right now. So they're two hours behind. See, I do that. I knew I was right. I remember. I remember some weird shit in my life. It's crazy. <clears throat> What's going on, NJ? How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Heck yeah! I hit a hundred on pick four. I said, "There you go." Knocking them in the head over there, Miss Shack. Good for you. Yeah, see that? You learn something new every day. This is why I said you should play trivia. You can learn something new. All right, I'll be right back. I got to go get a water and make sure I shut off the coffee pot. I think I did. Oh, God. Ouchie, ouchie. <laughs>
dang it, dang it. I forgot to shut off the freaking coffee pot and there was nothing in it. It sucks. I almost put water in it right away in the sink and I'm like, if I do that, it's going to wind up cracking. So I just put it to the side, put it on top of my toaster oven, it's metal, so it won't. Uh, I knew it. See, I had it in my mind. That's why I said, let me go check. I hate when I do that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, just did an Instacart and DoorDash. Now back home. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mark. What's going on, brother? I'm trying to trying to do up, Miss Shack. Sorry, okay, you 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 said that while I walked away. How's everyone on a Tuesday morning? Hope all is well. I'm okay, D man. Good, relaxing myself for grass to cut later. Ugh, need my riding mower. Even now you're all getting rain. Got grass. Oh, you got? Oh, you got to cut the grass today, Mishak? Finally, have a little breeze in seventy. Yeah, D-Man needs a spark plug. But weeks already. Go get the goddamn thing. I've been talking about that spark plug for weeks already. Oh, man, I can't believe I left the freaking coffee pot on there. Oh, the lottery? Oh, shit, man. Listen, you hit 100, you hit the game. That's hey, that's that's good, man. I wish I could. Man. I, I freaking need some kind of luck. I need something good. <clears throat> it's chilly down here, but I know it's nice outside. Let's see. Let's Google. Let's see what the weather is. Let's see. Sixty-one degrees right now. And the way my dad made it sound that it was going to be freaking beautiful here. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right, Mark? 65 out right now? Yeah, I think today it's going to be 70 with the winds at 12 miles an hour. Abundant sunshine, high near 70. Winds 10 to 15. That's That sucks. That's terrible for fishing. And then tonight, 47. Uh, Wednesday, 63. Rain. Look at that shit's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Great. That sucks. The, the, yeah, I just saw that mark 50 degrees for the high on Thursday. Rain. 55 Friday, Saturday, 62. Look at this weather, man. This weather's retarded, bro. I don't get it. You get the it was 78 degrees the other day. I was sitting outside with my buddy upstairs two days ago. Or was that yesterday? It might have been yesterday. 70 something degrees. And it's gonna be Next Thursday, 59, 43 at low at nighttime. I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. For fishing, it's, it's wild. It's fish can Yeah, it's retarded, bro. We live here, so we understand it. This weather's whacked out, bro. It, it, it's, it's, it's hard to figure out the fishing, too, because the fishing, the fisher, they don't know what to think. You know, right now, it should be in the 70s, steady, steady 70s, mid 70s right now. 68, 70, low 70s is steady. It should be for the highs right now in April this time. And don't get me wrong. We've had snow in April. I mean, I've had opening days, trout season, where we woke up and it was snowing on the ground. I don't know if I ever told you guys that story. We were camping out on the Rockaway, Mark, one year. Me and my buddy Rob, my buddy Jim, and a bunch of other, these other dudes that we met. I mean, it's way downstream. Like, it, we got in the water, and it was like two miles downstream. And uh, they had this awesome site, man. I mean, you can't even get there. It takes about 25 minutes to a half an hour to walk in from the street. And it's like down the fucking mountain to get down the mountain and down to the spot to the river. Nobody's coming down there. Cops ain't coming, nothing. They were shooting guns down there, fucking like targets and shit. Uh, drinking music, blasting, friggin'. We had a blast down there. We did it almost, I don't know, three years in a row, four years in a row. Dude, the one year we went to sleep, it, I'll never forget it. It was 75 degrees. We had shorts on with the tent. I, we shut the tent. It was me and my buddy Jim in this, the one tent. Went to sleep. I, I was the first one up. I saw a first little bit of light, and it's open today, so you can't fish till 8 o'clock. So I think it was like 6.30. I said, let me get up, make some coffee or whatever. 
and get up. I go to open the tent. I can't get it open. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? It was frozen shut. Did I open the tent? Now, mind you, five hours before, five hours, I went to sleep earlier. It was 70 degrees or 70 something degrees. Five hours later, woke up. It was like three inches of snow on the ground. Do you remember that year, Mark? When it was uh, snowing, opening day morning? That was some crazy shit, man. I couldn't believe it. I, I had to use my lighter on the inside of the tent to like uh, defrost it so I could open it up. It was frozen shut. Well, oh, you're in freaking South Carolina. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, uh, that was. Oof. Uh, let me. I don't even know, man. How many years now? Shit, 15, 20, probably something like that. At least. Um, I'll be 49, 20 years, and probably 20, maybe 25 years ago, something like that. Yeah, that's when we used to fish the Rockaway open a day. That's how many years ago that was. Yeah, it was, it was a long time ago, but I'll tell you what, it was the craziest weather I've ever seen, man. You were like 13. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, it is what it is. I just thought you would remember just from living here. I don't know. We had some weird weather here, though. <clears throat> We've had some opening days where we were fishing, and 10, 11, 12 o'clock, you were taking jackets off. It just got beautiful out. It was in the 70s, and in some, it was freezing. It's just April's weird here sometimes. I remember the snowstorm of 96. That was 9. 96. Uh I don't know if that was it. Maybe. I don't, know. I don't think so. No. Yeah, maybe. I could have been. It was around that time. But that was a big storm, wasn't it? If I remember. I don't know. I just remember it being 70-something degrees, sitting by the fire in shorts, and then waking up and friggin' five hours later, and it was friggin' snowing outside, blizzard. We went fishing. We did good, too. We caught a ton of fish and then broke down camp, went home. Crazy. Crazy day. I'll never forget that. That's another one on the uh, adventures and stories with F4C list. That was a that was a good day. Crazy. What's up, Bud Files? Good morning. How are you, Bud? Ooh. What's the plans, everybody, today? What's everybody doing? I'm going to see how I feel in a little while. I may go I'm going to see if my dad wants to go shop right. Maybe I'll go get a few things done today. <coughs> I don't feel great. Temperatures have bounced all over the place. Yeah, it's wild. It really is. I know if I go anywhere, I want to get it done before I uh, come back and do trivia. That's why I wasn't sure. I said yesterday, you know, if we were thinking about going fishing, if we went fishing, that I wasn't going to do trivia today. But if that changes in any way, shape, or form, I'll let everybody know, you know, in advance. I want to talk to Pops in a little while, but it doesn't look like it's uh, going to be a good fishing day anyway. Not for me. It's I don't want to. I don't want to get cold. I'll be doing diamond art and chilling before work. I hear you. What time you get to go to work, D-Man? Oh, too windy for the last week. Yeah, I know. I wanted to go today so bad, but it's just that wind, man. Since it's going to be like 15. Being in your chat for trivia. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it, man. I do. It's fun. We had a good time the other day. It should go a little smoother today. It went pretty smooth the other day, but it should go a little smoother, even more smooth today because... I gotta just uh, I gotta find the um, which McCall I charge the other phone too, so might be easier with two phones. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I got more wind burn than sunburn yesterday. Yeah, like that. What could you really say? I ain't got no energy. I might have to go find some powdered moonshine. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta be at work by seven. Oh, you going later on tonight? Okay. Seven thirty. I hear you. So that's like 8.30 my time. Wow. Dude, how long are you there? You're not there that long, right? A couple hours? I think you said three hours or something like that. That's not bad. I 
is this just a gas station or they have like uh they have a little mini mart there too and a um service station like do they service cars there too like oil changes and shit tune ups and stuff like they have a garage i'm just curious because i know you said it's a gas station right <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, that was yesterday that I went outside, right? I said I went outside for a little while. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, that was yesterday. When I was sitting outside with the uh, the dude from upstairs, yeah. He's actually gone. He left today. He works for UPS, man. He's freaking what do you say? He's like he's fifty fifty three, fifty two, I think. Fifty two, fifty one or fifty two. And uh, he's gonna be—he gets to retire, I think, in two years from now. Gee, when is your birthday? In June, June twenty-second. Four nights of shrimp it hurt me, and then crappy day of fishing yesterday. Yeah, get some rest, bro. I only work about two, two and a half hours. It's a gas station only. Oh, okay. The only reason I asked is if they—they they were like a service station. You could have got a spark plug there. Could have found one in the garage somewhere. You know, just grabbed it. Snoop around, you know. But I was thinking about that before. My birthday's in June. June 22, 1975. I'm an old man. Mine is the 10th of June. Nice. Cool deal. Let me write that down. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Do something special for your birthday. Cassie accepted your friend request. Oh shit! I just came friends with Cassie on Facebook. <clears throat> yeah, I'm right on the cusp there of uh, cancer. Whatever the other sign is, I forget. Whatever's right before me, like I'm right on the cusp. That's my dad's birthday. What, the 22nd or the 10th? Yeah, Gemini, yeah. Gemini and uh, Cancer. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Cancer because I'm like right there. Um, all right, sorry. This is a weird fact. I don't know. Nothing crazy, but it's a weird fact. So my dad is, you know, you guys know my name. So I have my dad's name. I'm a... Um, second, not a junior. On my birth certificate, I'm a second, number two, right? And then his birthday is March 22nd, and mine is June 22nd. It's kind of weird, right? I, don't know. I always thought that was kind of strange. <clears throat> Maybe not. Probably would have been more strange if we were both born on the same day, but years apart. That would have been weird. But same number, anyway, 22nd. June 22nd is my dad's, June 26th is older brother, and June 28th is my baby brother's. Oh, wow. Hey, Cassie. What's up? What up? What's going on, Cassie? Cassie, you going to play tonight in uh, trivia? I'll be live around 3, 3.15, and then we're going to try to rock it out like 3.30, quarter to 4, the latest. Should only take about an hour. If I don't run my mouth too much in between, but that usually happens. Just let me know. I'll write you down. I'm good. Good. Like, well, you don't want to play or you want to play. I don't know what that means. I'm good. I'm a Libra. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I'll play. There you go. Cool. All right. Miss Cassie is in. I think we have one more spot to fill. So we have Mary, Gig, Cat, Miss Shack, uh, NJ, Big Sexy, David, Clark, D Man, and Cassie. October 6th is my birthday. There you go.
My son is a Libra, 25th of September. My mom's is a my mom's a Virgo. She's uh the 12th, September 12th. Yep. D man, check messenger. Dad is home. They said he had vertigo. Oh, good. I'm glad he's well. That's good. That's the best news you can get, Katie. Wow, great. That's that's good. Because I was scared. I thought maybe it was a stroke. So he's, it's good. Vertigo sucks too, but um, that's a little more controllable then. That's good. Whew. I went into labor on D-Man's birthday. Oh, wow. Good, Katie. Good, good, good. Yeah. I think they can give you something for vertigo. I'm not sure if they can give me medicine for that. Um, I'm really not sure. I get little bouts of vertigo from time to time, but uh, they're very mild. It's a weird feeling. That's what I thought that that sweating thing that's been happening to me. I thought it was vertigo, but it's it's not. I asked my doctor. He said no. That was a oh yeah for sure, Katie. See, all our prayers worked. God is good, Katie. Prayers work, man. I'm telling you, one hundred percent. There you go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Looking after Katie's dad. You are a powerful and wonderful Lord. And we love you. Amen. Vertigo is seasickness on land. Pretty much. Yeah, it's the weirdest feeling in the world, man. I get it from time to time. Like I said, it's more like when I'm... Like people get anxiety. I don't get anxiety. When I feel anxious, I get vertigo. And it's it just it's, it comes in spurts, and it doesn't. It happens very very few times in my life, but when it does, it's very very weird. It's almost like I'm outside myself, looking at myself. It's the weirdest feeling in the world, I gotta say. But so it is what it is. Yeah, he's just so comical. He keeps us in stitches constantly when we're all here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Amen to that too, demon. <clears throat> it's great news, Katie. Very good. Good, good, good. Give him a big hug. <clears throat> what could I do today? I want to go. I really want to go uh, food shopping, but I think I can do it. I think I'm going to go tomorrow, but tomorrow's supposed to rain. Dang it! Can't catch a break, man. I'm telling you. Put it to you this way: I'm going to see what Pop wants to do. Mrs. Doubtfire is on. Really? What channel? So is Seinfeld. You guys in that Seinfeld. See, I, I, I was never into. I mean, Seinfeld's a good show. Don't get me wrong, but I don't go gaga over it. Like, funny show though. Funny. Some people don't like Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know. He has a weird sense of humor. I was a big fan of Kramer. He cracked, he cracked me up. I feel like I can go back to bed for like five hours. That's how I feel.
Oh, man. I got a few things to do. The dog just ate a green shit fly in the screen. I got to clean that boat. Oh, okay. All right, Billy. We'll talk to you later on, brother. I'll be ready for trivia, man. You and Kat. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to do it. It's gonna be fun. I just gotta find some uh, new questions. I was looking last night. I found I found a few. Even if we do like if I go into the three hundred question one that I found, I could just we could just do fifty of those. Doesn't matter. Did you send me a Facebook request? I was just gonna ask you that because I just saw it come through on my phone. Yeah, I did. Yeah, have a great day, Billy. We'll see you later on, bud. Yeah, I just saw it come through. I saw it on my phone. I just said it before you came in the room. I said, uh, Cassie accepted my friend request. Cool. Coolio. I'm glad it's the same Cassie. Worked out. I thought it was you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be getting off here too in a little bit. I'm gonna shave. Take a shower and I'm gonna talk to Pops and see what he wants to do. Either we're gonna, either we're gonna go shopping today or tomorrow, but Tomorrow doesn't look good because of the friggin' rain. Weather for Carlstadt, New Jersey tomorrow. You got it, man. Yeah, about three o'clock I'll go live. Three, three fifteen, somewhere around there. I'll have I'll have it set up. You'll see it though. I'll have it set up beforehand. Rain. Uh, Wednesday. It says eighty percent chance, but what time? Well, not till later in the day. Three o'clock. Okay. All right. It's not supposed to rain till tomorrow at like three, four o'clock. So, hmm. Maybe we'll go shopping tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to Papa Bear. See what he wants to do. I got to get fucking garbage bags. You know what I got to do? I'm so glad I just said that. Let me write it down here. Let me write a list because pretty garbage bags. Bad. Just put the last one in yesterday. Any paper towels? I have none. Milk. And regular milk. Bread. Two loaves. I think I'm going to take a break on the Taylor ham, too. I think I'm going to do bacon. Bacon was on sale. So we'll do bacon and eggs for like a week. What else do I need? Um, paper towels, I said. Garbage bags. Milk. Bread, eggs. Uh, bacon, eggs. Cheese. Uh, I'm going to get bologna, I think. For sandwiches. Either that or, that or ham. I'm not sure yet. I want to get some cold cuts. Oh, I know. I wanted to get um, Southwest black bean soup. Progresso. Best soup ever. If you guys get it, if you see it, buy it. It's the only problem. I think they might be on sale this week. I thought I saw Progresso on sale. They're three ninety nine regularly a can, but they're friggin' so awesome. Southwest black bean soup by Progresso. Banging, and it's like 20 grams of protein. My sister got it for me for the first time like two months ago, a month or so ago, and I freaking loved it. And I just bought it again the other day. Great soup. 
I feel lightheaded. I don't know if that's normal or not right now. Where's my buddy Scratching Wolf? Usually he'll pop in and say hello. Wolfie, where you at, Wolfie? Miss you, bro. Oh, what else do I need? Soup. I'm going to get two cans because I have one left. So that'll last me for a week. Um, hopefully they have berries. I hope. Blackberries. I'm craving my blackberries so much, man. I haven't had them in like a week. Blackberries and raspberries if they have them. I've been eating strawberries. They haven't had the blackberries. Your face is a little flush. Yeah, I know. Yes, I haven't been feeling good. I don't know what the heck is the matter with me. But I mean, I'm all right sitting here. I feel fine. But it just, uh, I don't know. That's why I said before, and you asked me how I felt. I said I feel so so because I don't know. It's weird. Just my body feels weird, man. The past couple days, just strange, real strange. What else? Ice cream. Ice cream if I have enough money. Ice cream. Because I know that I think Briars I saw was on sale. I like ice cream as a snack. It's not bad for you either. Believe it or not. What's up, Pontoon Jody? How you doing? Uh, gig just left. He went to go clean the boat. He said the uh, the dog just ate a green shit fly. So he said he needs to clean the boat. <laughs> What's going on, Jody? How are you? Thanks for uh, coming through. I appreciate it. We're just sitting here bullshitting. And, uh, I'm writing down my list for the supermarket. because I got to go get a few things. Uh, what else do I need, Mary? Shit. I haven't mentioned anything, right? Oh, protein drinks. Protein drinks. And sure, because I have coupons. You can get one four pack and one six pack. Because I have a coupon for a four pack, five dollars off, and then the other one is four dollars off. Which is amazingly. It's gonna I'm gonna get them good price. So I'll get the 30 grammers and the four pack, and then I'll get the six pack of the 16 gram ones. I'm gonna get vanilla though, I think. Uh, I don't know what else I need. I gotta think. Gee, how far is the market from you? Uh, it's right down a block, actually. I don't know. It's like five minutes by car. Oh shit, Mary, I have coffee, but thank you for saying water. I really don't need water, but if I'm going, I might as well get a case of water. Water. Good call, Mary. Good job. This is why you're here. <laughs> This is why I keep you on the roster. I'm just kidding. I keep you here because I love you, but uh, thank you. Yeah, I just look too. I have, I don't know. We just got a case of water, what, uh, a couple days ago, but I, I ripped through it so fast, man. I drink, I drink probably like eight or 10 of these a day, man. Like I ripped through them fast, man. at least eight a day. So that's three days that last me a case of water. I'm going to have to. I drink a lot of water. I take a lot of these different meds and they all say drink water, like a lot of water. So the mom and me. I love you for it. Thank you, Mary. I'm fixing to go to lunch. There you go. Enjoy your lunch. I appreciate you stopping by. Jody, we're going to be playing uh, trivia at like 3.30 today. If you're interested, let me know. I have one spot open. It's free to get in. And uh, this this week, uh, top prize winner is going to get uh, channel stickers. I have one of each of mine and then one of... Um, Miss Shack down in South Carolina. I'm going to give away one of hers. And then one of each of my channel stickers. Just for fun today. And then um, next week, Miss Mary is going to put in 10 bucks, so the winner will win $10. I work till 4.30. Oh, shucks, folks. That ain't going to work. All right. No worries. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll change the time next week or something. We'll figure it out. Um, what else, Mary? What else can you think of? Garbage bags and paper towels was the top. 
I, need, I know I needed those. Milk, eggs, chocolate milk, protein for breakfast. Got it. Eggs, cheese, cold cut. Soup. That the soup is a whatever. If I see it, I'll grab it. If I don't, I don't care. I have soup that I made. I wanted to get stuff to make pasta basil, but I think I'm gonna wait till next week to do that. Uh, berries, ice cream, protein drinks. I think that's it. Oh, you know what I want to get? Um, tuna. So we might even go to Aldi's. I'm going to ask Papa if he wants to go to Aldi's. Because Aldi's has a, they have the best tuna fish on the planet. I'm not getting some of the chat, Jody, and a couple others. What do you mean? Are oh, you not seeing Jody in the chat? Pontoon Jody? Mary? Are you on live chat? I'm on live chat. You have to switch. Sometimes you don't see it all. If you're on top chat, go to live chat. Sugar plums? Nah, I'm not getting those again. I wasn't a big fan of them. Yeah, make sure you're on um, live chat and not top chat. Yeah. I always go um, right before I go live. I always set it to live chat because then you get you see it all. Sometimes you don't see some of the chat. No, if I if I get berries, I'm, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get blackberries and raspberries, but. If they don't have them, they haven't had them the past couple of times. Maybe I'll just I'll get something else. I still have oranges in there; they're still good. Um, I still have regular plums, so I mean I'm good on fruit really. But I like to have it because it's healthy for me, and I can't think of anything else though, man. I mean that's enough. I really don't even want to spend that. That's freaking even Aldi's. That's going to be fifty, sixty bucks right there. That's nothing. There's only nothing even on the list. Garbage bags are expensive. Paper towels are expensive. I got TP the last time I went out, so I don't need that. The only thing is they don't have Taylor Ham. They have Taylor Ham at a, I mean, pork roll at uh, Aldi's, but I don't like it. It's like their brand, and it sucks. Did you switch to um, live chat, Mary? You should be able to see everybody's chat, then. You know how to do it. On the phone, it's uh, how do you do it on the phone? I forget. Let me see. I might go to the pool store looking for the pool filter. Oh, okay. Excellent. Mm. Oh, 12 o'clock already. Who's live fishing right now? Uh, 217 Rebel Outdoors is uh, fishing. It looks pretty nasty. Where is that? He's in Illinois. Windy day, cat fishing before the storm. Uh, it looks like the storm's heading your way, buddy. Look at that, man. It's freaking. I don't know if it's going to come in good, but. Probably not. No, it looks sunny on the screen. You can, uh, you can see on his, it looks cloudy as hell. I'm on my tablet. It's saying live chat. Oh, okay. I'm on live chat. As long as you're on live chat, you should be fine. Sometimes that happens, though. You don't see other people for whatever reason. I don't know why. Usually that means they're blocked or something, but I know you didn't block anybody. So, Who knows? YouTube's been really weird lately. Oh, wow. Well. What did she hit? Susan M. She'd be hitting another 100. Wow. Yeah, 217's live. Yeah, I don't know either. It is what it is. going on i love 217 he's funny as hell man that water looked like it was moving fast as heck that was that was just a picture this is him live right now the water looks like it's moving yeah right <laughs> let me say hello man skip jack cindy just said what's up <laughs> let me say hello
Where is the where is the what? What's happening? Got the best greetings ever, man. I like what he says. What's going on? Scott, four channel kitties on the live and two before the live. So, that's six golden right now. Nice. He caught six kitties. Uh, he got four, four in the live. Where is he? In uh, Illinois. Mm -mm. He's a good dude, man. Everybody's saying hi now. I'm doing like D man live, and then and somebody else is live. He man's good for that. He's famous for that. He made that shit famous, yo. Weather looks pretty crazy. If somebody was out here looking for Eater, what is his they name? Would be very happy. Channel name? Uh, 217 Rebel Outdoors. 217 Rebel Outdoors. Got to hit the thumbs up. Who's that? Rustic. No, there's Rustic. Rustic is there too. <clears throat> he gets a decent crowd in by him. Yeah. He said, uh, Yeah, man, you made that shit famous, D man. Being live and being on somebody else's live. <laughs> What's happening, man? Nah, he's cool, man. I met him, I don't know, like a year ago, man. He's probably first started his channel. I was getting him some pointers and shit. He's a cool, he's a good guy, man. He usually catches fish when he's live. He said he got six so far, two off camera and four four channel cats while he was live. So that's cool. They're hitting. They'll hit usually good right, right before a storm. Right before a storm. There's a ticket left scratches there. <laughs> Katie's over there. D-Man's over there. There you go. There you go, D-Man. Good looking out, brother. Now you got to say Fisher Proclaimers. I don't know if he knows me as Gerald. He, he knows me as Fisher Proclaimers. I'll just I'll just say I sent them over. We just out here trying to catch some fish. On the live, yeah, yeah. Hunting and stuff. Oh, look at that catfish dog dropped your link, uh, D man. Fish. Want to catch me some fish? That's that's what uh, that's funny you say that, Mary. But that that's how uh, Skip Jack Cindy called it, fish. Fish. I'm back. Had to go show them live to show love to us. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm there now. I'm watching it right now as I'm here with you guys. Yeah, pretty cool, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I said that I uh, sent you all over from, from me. I don't think he read it, though. Maybe he did. Who knows? But I know a lot of these channels just from uh, going into you know, Skipjack Cindy's or Bugman's. What's up, Jerry?
Is that a hit? I want to see a fish. I want to see a fish count. Oop, the black rod got a hit, I think. I just saw that. I don't know who else in here is over there watching, but I just saw the black rod had a hit, I think. Gee, I'm already sub to him. I thought I had to resub, but didn't have to. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think I think we went over there one day. We uh, we did a raid over there a while back. Back when I was doing the lottery. I've been watching him for a while. He's, he's a cool kid, man. I say kid. He's probably around my age. He's a good dude, though. I enjoy watching his live. A little, little raiding, huh? Yeah. Show love. Skip Jackson, he said raiding, huh? Let's go, catfish. Let's go. <laughs> he said, let's go, catfish. Let's go. Let's go, catfish. As Miss Mary said, catfish. That's cool, man. I just like showing love to other channels, too, man. I really do. But um, let's let see. Let me... um. Let me, how do I do this? Uh, I have to go here, share, copy link, copy link. Now we have to go to my live. I'm going to drop 217's link. We're going to end mine. If you guys want to go over there and just tell you, you know, coming over from my channel, whatever. I think that's it. I don't know if that's it. I'm going to make sure. Let me... I think that's 217s right there. 217 Rebel. That should be his uh, That should be his link right there. Yeah. I'm going to end this. Let's go over there. And um, Well, I'm going to go get me a filter. Go get your filter. Have a great day, Mary. Yeah, go over and uh, hit that link, guys. I put it down. D-Man put it down. Go over and uh, tell 217 I sent you over. Just tell him Fishing for Claim I sent you over. And uh, go show him some love, all right? I'm going to go head over there for a little bit, too. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'll see you for uh, trivia. At, I'll she be going live 3 3 30, 3 3 15. Sorry. All right, see you later on. Peace out, y'all. Much love. Thank you. Go over and show some love, man, please. Tell him uh, Fishing for Claim I sent you. Catch you on the flip.